Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create braided updo with dots and french braids. This is my hairstyle EXO. I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. If you like my channel, please show some love by subscribe and clicking the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to my channel. Beginning with the part lines, first you need the round shape of the top of your head. Then separate the small sections from the both sides. This time I add to the part line a little bit different shape to the front. You can imagine driving the face of the fox on your head. Can you see it? Brush the hair with water and start the braid after that. Take a small section of hair, separate it in three pieces and start to bring hair alternately under the middle right under left under add some hair from the left side right under left under add some hair right under left under add hair right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section into this braid. Next, I will do the same on the other side. Take a section of hair, separate the section in three pieces, and start to braid that braid. Bring the strand from the side under to the middle. Add the hair from the outmost side, so on this time it's on the right side. Left under right under, add hair, left under, right under, add hair, left under, right under, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. Next, I separate small sections from the both sides to the French braid. I will braid only these small sections into the braid to create a little bit extra twist to this style. These part lines won't show up on the final result, so don't waste your time for creating them perfectly. Secure the rest of the hair with an elastic to the back. Then I start to create the French braid. Take a tiny piece of hair and share it in three pieces. Beginning to bring hair alternately over the middle one. After a few stitches, 
add some hair from the side. Then bring the right strand over and add some hair from the right side. As you can see my hair is wet again. It makes this braiding so much easier when the hair doesn't slip away from your fingers so easily. Bring the right strand over and add some hair. Bring the left strand over and add hair. Right over, add hair. Bring the left strand over and add hair. Right over, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. Make sure not to add two big sections at a time, cause in the end there's not very much hair to braid on. When you added the last section into the French braid, keep on braiding few stitches more so braid is easier to secure to the bun. Next, put all of your hair into the ponytail. Then you need the donut to create this style. Place the donut into the ponytail. and spread your hair around the donut. Take a small piece of hair, share it three equal sections, and start the braid. Lace that braid. Bring hair under, 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 add hair, Under, under, add hair. Under, under, add hair. The trickiest part of this technique is that you shouldn't add hair too tightly so the braid will reach on your scalp. To make that easier, I secure the beginning of the braid to the bun with puppy pin. Then keep on braiding. While you braid, focus that your thumb reaches easily to your scalp. In this way you can make sure that the braid will be loose enough to reach on its place. When you braided all the hair into the braid, keep on braiding until the end of the hair. Then secure the braid with an elastic. Spin the braid on the back of your head and secure with the bobby pin. Make sure that the first round of the braid is inside of the second one. 
Next, I add some pressed flowers into this loop. And here's the final result of this style. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.